It's been a while, fellow engineers. Which ones are better, physics-based or data-driven models? The short answer is neither. But like most contentious questions, the real answer lies in the nuances. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of AI for Engineers. I'm Yusuf, product marketing engineer here at Monolith, and we empower you, the engineers, to spend less time running expensive repetitive tests and spend more time learning from your engineering test data to predict the exact tests to run. In this video, we will talk about the differences between data-driven models and physics-based models. We talk about misconceptions and also explore one of the many use cases where engineers were able to skip a physics-based CFD approach and started using a data-driven approach by only using the acoustic test data and 3D CAD information of their designs. Let's discuss first why this topic of physics-based versus data-driven is so critical. The Robin Hoods of the CIE world would say that physics-based models are better as they explain natural phenomena through mathematics. Most often partial differential equations that describe and explain the complexity of nature. On top of that, most of you would probably point to the most outstanding scientists in our history as proof. If this is your argument, then yes, this approach has stood the test of time. And by contrast, data-driven approaches, which are never too far from the term AI or machine learning, look like a nice to have in the scientific toolbox of us engineers. If we look at the innovation adoption cycle, we engineers usually fall into the category of laggards and often do not want to change a running system. The innovative ones among us, however, look around for alternatives if traditional tools do not deliver promising results. Engineers can already train their machine learning algorithms on data acquired from their test facilities, enabling the AI model to learn patterns in a very complex and high dimensional space. When used, these models can deliver excellent predictions of how a system would operate under new operating conditions. And the best part? The trained AI model can then directly predict the performance of a new, unseen test scenario, saving time and resources while fulfilling customer and regulatory requirements. Sounds too good to be true, right? Just because we have AI at our fingertips, should we just disregard simulation tools? Well, obviously not, because these tools have been around for decades and engineers are very well aware of the power of these methods, such as CFD or FAA, to name a few. But reality hits us hard when time pressure and business objectives stand in the way of achieving certain goals and forces our engineering thinking to be consigned to the back of the queue. We are increasingly forced to look for cost savings and ways to get into market faster which makes data-driven methods more than welcome to quickly improve product performance, optimize the use of test facilities, detect anomalies, or simply make better informed decisions. At Monolith, we identified that AI can deliver great value to demonstrate consistency and completeness of a design with respect to the user's needs. So, before you enter the market, you can perform what-if scenarios in a virtual test facility and see how the product reacts to new, unseen inputs. On top of that, what do we do with the masses of data that we have been collecting over the last years or maybe decades? What should we do now? This is where AI models can help us solve intractable physical product and business problems we are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Additionally, the classical physics-based tools most often require significant processing power to execute as a part of a simulation. Let's maybe have a look at one of the examples and one of the real-life use cases where this actually worked out. Let's talk about fuel sloshing noise prediction. Fuel sloshing noise prediction during vehicle deceleration has long been a difficult challenge for engineers to model, test and understand. However, the team at Cotex Textron has now successfully tackled this complex issue using Monolith AI software by combining their engineering skills, acoustic data, 3D CAD information and AI technology. The engineers are now able to quickly understand the connection between tank design, test parameters and sloshing noise and accurately predict the expected noise level of new, previously untested designs in untested configurations. This groundbreaking achievement, solving an intractable physics problem, was made possible through the use of advanced AI software and the domain expertise of Cortex Textron's skilled engineers. Experimental testing can be costly, time-consuming and very labor-intensive, especially if engineers need to conduct numerous studies to test each variable and rely heavily on physical prototypes. Traditional simulation methods like computational fluid dynamics CFD, that are used for virtual testing can be expensive to implement and are based on complex assumptions. That's where data-driven methods come in handy. The data-driven approach offered the engineers at Cortex Textron a more efficient and cost-effective solution for conducting virtual testing. So, 
To sum it up, neither solution is intrinsically better than the other. However, the complexity of the systems we are trying to model today has become so abstruse that a pure physics-based approach often reaches a dead end. Even if it doesn't, the complexity of the associated calculations can often be so high that advancement is impinged by the time taken to calculate results. Self-learning models based on real-world test data have shown to be capable of reaching beyond that achievable by physics-based models alone. The speed with which AI models can deliver results and predictions simply provides an advantage in increasingly competitive markets. Monolith has shown to solve intractable problems such as calibrating gas flow meters, solving crash test problems, work on tire degradation phenomena, and many more. If you want to learn more about how AI can be used in engineering R&D processes, make sure to subscribe for more and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.